Good morning, I hope I'm recording audio. This Ant-Man Moto here from Los Angeles. And I am doing my best to split these lanes. And it's out of necessity. I, I've watched a couple of guys do it, so I think I've become, I don't want to say good at it, but a little less freaked out by it. And what I've noticed is, thank you guys, I, I say thank you to everybody, they probably know I'm from out of town. What I've noticed is when these drivers out here in Los Angeles see you coming, they make the hole wider. So what you have to do is you have to get in the hole and then you just have to go. And then the hole opens up for you, like a shark swimming through fish, you know? I try to be careful and not, I mean, good Lord, my biggest nightmare would be scraping someone's car, because that is not anything I want to do. But but it, it really helps you to get through this kind of traffic. I think it's brilliant. Splitting traffic is, is great for a motorcyclist. I don't know why it's not the law in Georgia, but it should be, in my opinion. And uh, it's, not, it's no sweat off the driver's backs to move over a little bit and let me go through. It really isn't. And I realize that. So, this is your boy Ant-Man Moto after three days in California. On day one, I would have never done this. I would have never even thought to do this because it just seems crazy. But now, I, I want to say I'm doing it with ease, but I'm doing it. I just don't want to, I haven't touched anyone's mirror, but can you imagine having saddlebags trying to do this? That's just nuts. Did you notice we went by a cop back there too? Oh my God, we did. So anyway, I've got my heated grips on. The K1200 RT is just brilliant. I had the cruise control on coming over here. I have the heated grips on too. I have the heated seat on one. I'm feeling so uh, comfortable on this bike. It's, it's like amazing. I really like this machine. I mean, even doing this, I don't feel awkward, odd, or like, you know, the, the bike's very nimble and easy to control. I understand the weight of this bike is about 400, and, or excuse me, 515 pounds uh, dry so wet it's probably 550 but it carries its weight very well it's very easy to 400 feet continue straight it's very easy to maneuver and do this I saw one guy on he said he splits traffic at 35 miles an hour which to me is crazy that means he's going faster than this thank you My hands are nice and toasty. My booty's nice and toasty. We are on our way to SoCal Supermoto. And, you know, I knew that the traffic was going to be a factor because the I-10 had this horrible fire like we had in Atlanta a few years back where it burned the underside of the freeway so hot that it like weakened the steel and it weakened the cement. And so they had to close that section of I-10 and so it's really like created like horrific traffic that was worse than before. Now people are, the, all these people are, are going around that closure because the closure is like right up here. And uh, do I have anyone behind me? No. And when I say anyone, I mean another motorcyclist because somebody that's good at doing this is probably would be doing it a lot faster. Alright, so I'll check back with you later. I just wanted to make a quick video of lane splitting in Los Angeles in very heavy traffic. And, you know, if we could adopt this in Georgia and make this legal, it would be great.
the way cars see you and they move over is like great they make a hole for you and it's so cool and this should be like the law in every state in my opinion but like a state like Georgia it should definitely be the law bro like come on Georgia get with it okay I'm, I'm, I'm going to the 110 Harbor Freeway that's what it's saying to do, right? 110 Harbor Freeway. That's what I'm doing. Why, why are you closing the hole, though? What are you doing, okay? I was just uh, talking about the benefits of lane splitting, and then you got a guy that's doing this. Don't know why he's doing that, but... Okay, I'm following a guy. Hopefully this is recording. I'm following a guy that was doing it way faster than what I would be doing it. See him up there? I'm trying to catch him. But it's impossible when you have people doing like this. All right, I'm trying to aspire to be like that guy up there. I mean, nothing? Thanks, lady. Uh, well, I've lost the guy. He was, oh shit, what happened? Did he hit someone? Oh no, he hit someone. I saw what he did. He clipped somebody. See, that's the danger of having saddlebags. He clipped somebody. Look at how wide his bike is. I made up a tremendous amount of time doing this lane splitting thing. Tremendous. And the traffic, I got through uh, to the actual, you can see my map here, I'm out, about out of the red stuff. Hey everybody, I lane split, yay! <laughs> Woo! Is it fun? No. But is it a necessary evil here? Yes, you have to do it. If you're on a bike, you have to split traffic. You can't not do it because you're, you're actually, what I realized as I thought about it was what you're doing is you're actually contributing to traffic. What does this say? To San Bernardino? Oh, here we go. Jeez, scaring the shit out of me. I'm like, where am I supposed to be going? 10 East, here, to San Bernardino. All right, we're on the 10 East, going to San Bernardino. We should be in clear sailing now. We slice through that traffic like a ninja in the night. And now, it looks like, woohoo! Clear sailing, boys. Oh, my daughter went to that dance, that school right there. Debbie Allen uh, Dance School is right there. Debbie Allen, hey! My daughter went to that school many years ago for, for a dance uh, thing, and that's where it was. I remember that building. All right, let's pay attention. We managed it. Woo! We went all the way through downtown Atlanta, splitting traffic. It took us five minutes to get through that traffic as opposed to 25 minutes because of the beautiful laws of California that make sense, which say, why should a motorcycle add to this gridlock? Split traffic and the motorcyclist can move on about his way, get out of y'all's way to free up more space in your traffic. I mean, it makes sense. 
it's sensible, it's smart, and you know, when people cooperate, it works. Alrighty, on our way to SoCal Supermoto School. And uh, we'll talk to you from there. I'm really not much more to say other than I'm very thankful for the law that says you can split traffic in California. Hopefully that is clear that I feel that way at this point because it's just awesome. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you shortly on Ant-Man Moto from SoCal. Woo!